Here is an example that illustrates Chebyshev's inequality. Let x be the number of screws delivered to a box by an automatic filling device. Assume that mu is equal to 1000, sigma squared equals 25. There are problems with too many screws going into the box because, for example, if this uh, automatic filling device puts 1,015 screws into the box, you're giving away 15 free screws. Or if too few screws are in the box, if it puts in, for example, 985 screws, someone might actually count them all and complain. So in this case, we are being given the first two moments, but no other information about the distribution. And I will write over here the standard deviation here is five screws going into the box, and that will be used in Chebyshev's inequality. So there are three parts to this problem. The first is how many sigma units to the right of mu is 1009? Second problem is what x value is 2.6 sigma units to the left of mu. And finally, use Chebyshev's inequality to find a bound on the probability that x, the number of screws in the box, lies between 994 and 1006. Now, in this particular example, you do not know the exact shape of the probability distribution. You don't know if it's bell-shaped or if it's skewed a little bit to one side or the other. There's no information given other than the population mean and the population variance. So we can't lean on a distribution such as the normal distribution to answer this. We can only get a bound on this particular probability using Chebyshev's inequality. Before we start out on prop parts A and B to the problem, here are a couple formulas. To, cons to convert a specific value of x to sigma units, you can use the formula k is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. This might look familiar from earlier in the chapter, and that is the standardizing, where you subtract the population mean and divide by the standard deviation. If you solve this equation for x, you can convert a sigma unit, and that's what we're doing in part b, to a specific value of x by saying x is equal to mu plus k sigma, where k is the number of sigma units. So at this point, we're going to answer parts a, b, and c. The first part is how many sigma units to the right of mu is 1,009. Go ahead and draw a picture here. We know that the center of the distribution is at 1,000. And we know, because the standard deviation is 5, we can go ahead and draw points along this axis that correspond to sigma units. And there they are going to the right. And you can do those same in units of 5 off to the left. So when the qu question is, how many sigma units to the right of mu is 1,009, you can see over here, 1,009 appears right here. And if each tick mark here is a sigma unit, then it is 1.8 sigma units to the right. And that is calculated by taking 1,009 minus 1,000 divided by the standard deviation 5. And that is 9 fifths or 1.8. So you can measure this in absolute numbers associated with the random variable. And this would be 9 screws to the right of 1,000. Or you can measure it in sigma units. And in sigma units, this is 1.8 sigma units to the right of mu. Now the question going in the other direction, and this is part b, the question in part b was what x value is 2.6 sigma units to the left of mu? If you go to our number line and start at 1,000, 
Here is one standard deviation to the left, two standard deviations to the left, and 2.6 standard deviations is about right here. So how is that calculated? We use the second formula this time. X is equal to mu, which is 1,000. And then we put in our k value here, which is negative 2.6 times the standard deviation, which is 5. 2.6 times 5 is 13. 1,000 minus 13 is 987. So parts A and B show that we can convert from specific values of x to sigma units and from sigma units to specific values of x. Finally, part C is to use Chebyshev's inequality to get a bound on the probability that there are between 994 and 1,006 screws in the box. And that happens to be a symmetric interval about 1,000, which means Chebyshev's inequality can be used. And the endpoints of that inequality are k is equal to 1,006 minus 1,000 divided by 5, 6 fifths, or 1.2 sigma units from mu. So when you apply Chebyshev's inequality, what you do is you take your mu plus or minus your k value, which is 1.2 times sigma, and you'll notice that works out to be exactly the inequality that we want here. And that'll be greater than or equal to 1 over 1, 1 minus 1 over k squared, and k is 1.2. So when you work out this right-hand side, the bound is 0 0.3056. So the probability that x will lie between 994 and 1,006 is at least 0 0.3056. The problem is you don't know exactly what it is, this only provides a bound.